Hello, Algebra 2 students. Today we are looking at chapter 11.2. This is the first part of 11.2. Um, we are looking at types of studies, types of statistical studies. So first of all, I just want to go over some vocab real quick. So here is your vocabulary for this section. And pause the video as needed to get this written down. But a sample survey, an experiment, and an observational study, those are the three types of statistical studies that we are looking at today. So the first study is the sample survey. Sample survey. This asks every member of a sample the same set of questions or the same question and records the answer. So you're actually asking a question. Sample survey is asking a question. Experiment, that's a second type of study. This is applying a treatment to a group or groups and measuring how that treatment affects the group. That would be an experiment. Last one, number three, the third type of study is an observational study. This measures or observes, so that's the key word, observes members of um, a sample. So you're, you're observing from afar, you're not interfering with this group, you're just watching, you're just looking and recording your findings. All right. Side note, let's go back to experiment. So the experiment study we said applies a treatment. So in that experiment, you're going to have two groups, a control group and an experimental group. So you're taking your sample and you're breaking them into two groups. The control group just is the same as always. Nothing happens. They just go on with life as normal. The experimental group is the group that will receive this treatment that is uh, talked about up here, how it's applying a treatment. So you have two groups, a control group, no treatment, experimental group gets the treatment. All right, so let's practice these. You have in your notes several examples here. So again, our learning target is I can choose a type of study. Remember, there's a three studies. I'm going to scroll down here real quick. All right, so success criteria. Just to um, summarize this all, your success criteria is number one, is something being observed? If it is, then that's observational. Number two, is a test or treatment being applied? That is experimental. And then lastly, is a question being asked? If a question is being asked, that is a sample survey. All right, go ahead, pause the video and, and answer this page of questions. All right, let's check your answers, see how you did. All right, example one. So this newspaper study is a sample survey because the members were being asked a question. The doctor study is an experiment because a treatment is being applied. The grocery store is observational because the members were just observed. The members of the sample were just being watched. Down here, your answers are, uh, for this first one, this is observational. They're just watching and recording the results. This one here is a sample survey. And they're asking a question there. And then the last one is an experiment because a treatment is being applied. And then finally, down here at the bottom, your answers are, for A, that's a sample survey. B is an experiment, and C is observational. Okay, moving on to our second learning target, which is I can, learning target, I can recognize bias 
and determine the source of that bias. So first of all, what is bias? Bias is a systematic error that results in a sample that misrepresents the population as a whole. And there's a couple ways that this can happen. So that brings us to our success criteria. How can bias occur? One way is that the circumstances affect the outcome. The circumstances of this study affects the outcome. Number two, the question is worded in a way to produce the answer desired. So the wording of the question. So it either can be circumstances or the wording of the question that may produce bias or a misrepresentation of that population. Okay, go ahead and pause the video. Try this page of questions on your own. All right, so for this scenario here, yes, there is bias. So in this situation, the circumstances have affected the outcome. You're, you're comparing people on a sunny Saturday afternoon when they don't have to go to work and they don't have any responsibilities per se, and then you have um, a Monday morning. Look at all these people going to work. It's early. Uh, they have things to do, things on their mind. So the circumstances are affecting the happiness of these people. So there were, um, there was a bias represented in that situation. Down here, there's no bias likely. Um, a high school is likely to have students with a variety of heights um, and the students were randomly chosen. Okay, that is all I have for you for this section.